Welcome to the Jamf Pro Reporting Solutions Series, where we highlight BI and reporting tools that integrate with Jamf Pro. This is part one for Power BI. My name is Kyle Pazendek, and I am an engineer on our research team. My name is Sam Weiss, and I'm a Solution Partner Manager at Jamf. Jamf offers a portfolio of products that allow Apple device administrators to connect, manage, and protect their devices. Jamf Pro is the industry-leading device management tool that IT professionals use every day to deploy and configure Apple devices. Power BI is a visualization and reporting tool that has native integrations throughout the Microsoft ecosystem. It can quickly be integrated into SharePoint, Flows, Outlook, and other services many IT organizations and executives rely on every day. The magic all starts with the Power BI desktop, and I'm going to show the initial data connection in this tutorial. After we create the first PBIX file, we can upload this to Power BI's cloud service and set a refresh policy to have a constantly updating picture of your Jamf Pro. This is a great tool to give admins, decision makers, and executives the visualizations they need to help them answer the questions they may have without requiring explicit knowledge or access to the Jamf Pro web services. To start this demonstration, we need to first create a workbook. I'm using example dashboards.pbix in this tutorial. This step must be done on a Windows PC. To connect your Jamf Pro instance to this workbook, click Get Data icon found on the top ribbon, then search Jamf. Since the February 2020 Power BI update, every Power BI desktop has this connector built in. Further, you no longer need the on-prem gateway anymore or our previous custom connector. Enter your Jamf Pro API hostname and the service account credentials in the following forms. You will need Git access rights to the JSS resource API for computers, mobile devices, extension attributes, and groups. In this form, go ahead and select all of the fields that you will need. We have computers, mobile devices, and their respective smart groups and extension attributes. Then click Load. The initial load may take several minutes to complete all of the actions. Once the data is loaded, you will notice the fields populate on the right. These are the different data points and models that we have loaded from your Jamf Pro instance. Let's expand computer groups and computers to see some of the data that we can use for our reports and visualizations. As you can see, we have smart and static groups, both their names and then the memberships of the computers. In computers, we have nearly all of the fields found in a traditional API call. Let's grab the Jamf Pro computer ID and make a quick table to show that it works. This is found at the bottom under ID. In the next video, we will discuss a few different visualization types, show what they look like with your Jamf Pro data, and then prepare the PBIX file for uploading to the Power BI cloud service.